This show is brought to you by Jam Time Machine Radio, the finest of old school black and pop music. Check out www.jamtimemachine.com and listen to non-stop old school black and pop music. Jam Time Machine Radio, more than just music. folks how's it going i'm sean david welcome back to the show let's talk some old school nba now if we talk about scotty pippen we can easily talk about one of the best defenders of all time to be honest he's in my top three but also scotty pippen had one or two guys who could cause him some trouble which in this episode will be chris mullen we're going to take a look at how chris mullen destroyed scotty pippen but before we start with this episode, I want to give a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thanks a lot, you guys, for supporting my show. It's really appreciated. And I would say, enough said. Let's get right into today's episode. Put the ball down. Scotty Pippen against Mullen. Takes him to the lane as a knockaway from behind. Now, unfortunately, Chris Mullen is one of the most underrated and also slightly forgotten NBA players, even though he was on the Dream Team. But if you don't know Chris, don't worry, we have a quick look back at the career of Chris Mullen. Christopher Paul Mullen was born on the 30th of July in 1963 in Queens, New York. Mullen fell in love with basketball at a very young age while studying the games of Walt Frazier and Earl the Pearl Monroe. Chris was known to play outside at every court that was available, trying to imitate the moves of his favorite idols. During his high school days, he also stayed in New York and also he began to fall in love with Larry Bird and John Havlicek. By the way, he's the reason why Chris wore number 17. After being selected as New York's Mr. Basketball, Chris was recruited to play for St. John's University in nearby Queens. At the 1985 NBA Draft, Chris Mullen was selected with the 7th pick overall by the Golden State Warriors, a franchise who at that time really was suffering and desperately was in need of a franchise player. When Mullen started his rookie campaign, it showed quickly that Chris could play on the highest level. Even though the Golden State Warriors used Chris more like a spot-up shooter, he did not disappoint and became one of the first scoring options on the team. But midway through the season, something changed. Mullen, who in high school and college was known to be the hardest working guy in the gym, was battling some off-the-court demons that nobody knew about. Well, until they did. I always would put um, other things behind basketball and working out. That was always my priority. Little by little, the tables were being turned, you know. Once in a while, I let say, I'm not gonna work out tonight, I'll just go out and hang out. To the point where I was really, you know, get out of shape and then you don't feel like playing because, you know, you know it's gonna hurt, you know, and so going out on the court became a chore. He was overweight. Uh, he was late for almost everything. And it manifested itself really in, in his preparation. He wasn't prepared to play physically or mentally. And I always had um, good direction since I was a kid. Early in my NBA career, you know, I, I got sidetracked and kind of got away from what was was being good to me. For the first three NBA seasons of Mullen's career, he was still putting up good numbers, but due to his addiction, it was a steady up and down. The Warriors were not making any real progress and Chris was frustrated with the entire situation. And then he decided to check himself into rehab and to fight his addiction head on. After he returned, Chris was back to his old self, making the All-Star team for the first time in his career while averaging 26 points and almost 6 rebounds and 5 assists. Now in the early 90s, Chris Mullen became one of the best players in the entire NBA and also was considered to be probably the best small forward next to Larry Bird 
and yes, Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen in the year 1991 was an NBA All-Star, an NBA champion, and a small forward that many considered, next to Michael Jordan, the best two-way player in the entire NBA. A player that could drop 20 points, but also shut down the best player on the opposing team. Scottie took out Match Johnson in the NBA Finals, a player that many considered the second best of all time. Scottie Pippen was that good defensively. Chris Mullen, who wanted to show the entire world that he was the best small forward once Larry Bird retired, always had an extra gear when he played against the Chicago Bulls and Scottie Pippen. And Scottie Pippen, for whatever reason, could never stop Chris Mullen, no matter what he tried. Just like on the 24th of November in 1992. And forward in his eighth year from St. John, standing 6'7, number 17, Chris Mullen. Grant will take on Owens, Pippen and Mullen, Cartwright Lister in the middle, Armstrong Hardaway, and Jordan Grayer in the backcourt. Hardaway had to change his shot, goes back on top to Mullen, starts to drive, finds the open man, it's going on. Right side BJ, open 16 of the baseline, Pippen with the tip, quick basket by Scotty Pippen off the rim. In front of Mullen, he does a good job, taps it out to himself, Pippen on the drive, knocked away by Mullen, touched by Owens out of an axe, fires from deep. Watch out, there's Mullen, hard right away to Mullen, Mullen knows he breaks it, playing all the way down the floor, Pippen behind the screen from 16, it is 15 to 8. Good job on the backboard, Mullen starts to drive. Scottie Pippen was really given his all, as always, but Mullen in that game was simply unstoppable. Scoring 32 points, 18 on Pippen by the way, in only 15 minutes while both players were on the floor at the same time, plus shooting 60% from the field. If we take a closer look at the numbers, then you will see that in Mullen's prime, Pippen really had a tough time. The Bulls had to react. The result was that in the future, Michael Jordan got the job of guarding Chris Mullen, which turned out to be a way better match for the Chicago Bulls. And don't get me wrong, Pippen also would get his in the mid-90s, but in the early 90s, Mullen made Pippen really look bad every once in a while. Now since their career is over, both players have a lot of respect for each other. Mullen even saying that Scottie Pippen was one of the greatest players he had ever seen. Well, you can't argue with that. Alright you guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my other podcast, the Basketball Time Machine Podcast with me and former NBA legends. Alright you guys, you have a good one. Take care and goodbye. This show is brought to you by Jam Time Machine Radio. 
the finest of old school black and pop music. Check out www.jamtimemachine.com and listen to non-stop old school black and pop music. Jam Time Machine Radio, more than just music.